Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, we're gonna be talking about the DJI Light Bridge a little bit. Not in any great detail, um, but more uh, about the fact that you can now use it with your Phantom 2, if you wish, much more easily. Uh, but before we do that, of course, we must uh, introduce the beverage that's on The Kitchen Table this evening. And uh, we're back to Argentina for this very nice Malbec. La Mejita. Old Vines Malbec 2013 harvest and um, very nice it is too. So, um, cheers. Mm. So, yes, um, Light Bridge. Okay, for those who aren't aware, DJI's Light Bridge um, first came as a standalone a kit. It's now kind of baked into the Inspire One. Light Bridge is basically a, an all digital video downlink that can stream back to via an app. So very similar to the Vision Plus in that respect. So via an app can stream back a, uh, a high definition 720p up to um, uh, view of what your camera is seeing. Um, obviously this was as a potentially of particular interest to, to uh, professionals. Um, you can kind of show your uh, director what's what's being seen straight away and, and that, that's obviously useful but the other thing about it is that it uses a 2.4 gigahertz frequency spectrum which is a bit more robust than 5.8 and has better penetration and this can push out to you know just in its stock format over a kilometer with ease um one and a half kilometers most people seem to be getting and potentially more uh, if you are allowed to and want to push it on uh, by using uh, uh, better antennas for it um, so the benefits of it are that, uh, you, you know, as I say, you've got this HD uh, system and it replaces all the other component parts. So you have one uh, little box on the aircraft and you have one box at the ground and that replaces the video transmitter and uh, uh, IOSD because it, it deals with the on-screen, it gives you an on-screen display as well. So, you know, you, you're stripping away a fair amount uh, of bits and pieces. Now. If you've got a big pro rig, a big octocopter, and you're starting from scratch, then what's what was even better about it was that it used the 2.4 gigahertz channel for control as well. You plugged it into your NASA flight controller. You could then get your transmitter, plug it into the Lightbridge ground station, and effectively have the two the the two things, the video and the uh, and the control system going down one pipe. Um, that was it. Brilliant. Very convenient. Um, not cheap at a thousand pounds and it's the same technology that's been built into the light bridge um, now you used to be able to fit it onto a phantom without too much of an issue but but what you had to do was because the phantom transmitter would still be blasting out 2.4 control signals thus causing much confusion and so what you had to actually do was strip out the receiver the 2.4 receiver in your uh, P2, replace it with a 5.8 receiver and then use a 5.8 controller. So this involved a bit of surgery going on in here and you know that's not ideal and I think put a lot of people off who, who maybe wanted the high definition output, the all-in-one app approach and so on and so forth. However, I've had it confirmed now by a couple of people actually running the light bridge with their phantoms that if you have the upgrade transmitter with the trainer port on the back, which is what you need to have to plug into the light bridge, they've confirmed to me that when they plug in that trainer port, the new upgrade DJI, DJI transmitters kill the output through their antennas. So they kill their RF output, um, which suddenly means that you've got no issues with interference. And it suddenly means that if you have the upgrade transmitter yeah, and you can plug straight into Bluetooth and use the existing setup that you've got um, through the light bridge. In fact, if you want to save a bit of weight, you could remove the 2.4 receiver if you're only going to use light bridge because you don't need it anymore. It's all done through the light bridge unit itself. Um, now the question I've had asked, a few people have said, well, why would I want to do that? I might as well just for a thousand quid on top of my Phantom, I might as well buy Inspire One. Well, that's true, although you'd still have a bit more change to get. But one of the big reasons I think people are interested in Lightbridge is that if they've invested heavily into the Phantom ecosystem, if I know somebody, for example, with six smart batteries at a hundred pounds a pop, that's a lot of money to kind of just get rid of and swap over to an Inspire, say, um, and start again. 
Um, some people are also enamored with their GoPros and they like their rig and they're, you know, they're, they're happy with this size. The Inspire is bigger. They like this sort of backpack portability and the ground station gives them some, you know, a, a, a still quite a, a small form factor. So that's it really. It was just for those, for, as, as a matter of interest, for those of you who aren't aware and for those of you who have been maybe looking at Light, Light Bridge but thinking, well, you know, I don't want to mess about changing my receiver and I don't want to move to 2.5.8 uh, from 2.4 it's it's not doesn't have quite as good penetration and so on and so forth well it, uh, it now looks as if you don't have to um, so as I say that's from a couple of people who are real world flying these things around they're using the upgrade transmitter plugging it in through the trainer port and they're able to get both the control up and the video down leak down with no issue um, so if that's something that you've been thinking about, then that may well, you know, sway you now into uh, into going for it. Uh, like I said, street price on the on the on the light bridge as the standalone unit is around the thousand pound mark, um, but obviously shop around. Anyway, that was it. As I said, just a really quick one, just to give you some information that that I sort of collected that I thought might have been useful to some of you. Um, join me again soon back on the kitchen table. But until then, cheers. <laughs>